And what's going on? Fontaine here back on the machine MK3 with the 2.7.3 update. Just had a couple of emails actually. And um, I'm going to try to address these questions uh, the best way I can, uh, or rather, what I have in my mind would be a perfect solution. Okay, it, it's, it's like this I got some emails, and some people are like, you know, they were checking out the videos, they were trying to do the loop record, but uh, was getting off time. And, uh, and I thought about it for a minute, and I was like, yeah, you know what? Because, <laughs> you know, you got to hit that start button on time man and the only way i can explain it you got you got you got to time that up right because okay look in the software right here on my screen right quick see what this group is let me um color code this right quick so you can see it this little line right here let me push play right here drop this thing in like 93 drop this down like 93 right quick and let me exit this let me add a sampler right quick. And add a dummy MIDI note in there so this thing will play. All right. And let me drop it down to two bars right quick. All right. Remember when I was saying you got to time up that start button? Okay. This line right here. Okay. These boxes mean your bars, man. Okay. Like, look. Well, once I get to nine, it kind of, you can't tell. But anything I would say eight and below, see these little boxes in here with that little line playing? That line is what's gonna help you get on time. So I'm gonna bring it back down to two bars. So when this little line, when you see this little line coming to the end here, boom, you hit the start button. See what I'm saying? Boom, hit the start button. Because what's gonna happen is on this screen, yeah, you can see that fine. You know, and if you hold shift in this little guy right here, you can move this little thing right here. See how you can move that bar now up there. See that little, see that little bar up there moving? Boom. Okay. So when that thing gets about right here, when that black line gets right here, that's when you know to hit the start button. You know what I'm saying? Because on this screen, you cannot see that. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying when, when you're on this screen right here, the only, the only thing you got to go by is that. That black bar right there moving. See that? That's all you got to go by. So if you're running your input into machine, don't forget you got a mic uh, line right here. So the mic gain, you can adjust the levels on that if you need to get a louder signal. I was thinking about that too, man. People were like, um, I can't edit the audio. You know, you still have the old way of editing audio. Okay, so for example, well, I'm not gonna say the, the old way. It, it's how it is, but you, you know what I'm saying? All right, so loop record and let me just back this bar up a little bit okay i'm gonna push play here So we got the sample right there. Okay, so right there you see how I made an error, right? The sample sample's kind of off because here goes the two beginning piano keys. So yo, don't forget, you know, you still can come in here and edit this joint. Okay. Right now, we're under the MIDI option. Let me put the uh, quantize back on. Because I was forgetting some things in the beginning of the video. <laughs> I was forgetting, man, how to move that scrubber. But anyway, um, all right. So let's say if this was an audio pattern, like this right here, and it was off. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> And you was like, dang, man, I can't get that joint back on time. Yo, just go back to your sampler. Go back to your sampler. All right. Go back to sampling. Here goes the beginning of the notes. 
you just get a little extra on the end because that's what you're going to have to truncate off. You know what I'm saying? Go to edit. Let me get, let me get a little extra of that. Grab a little extra of that. Right. Copy. Right. Get back here as fine as you can. I mean, well, you probably have to zoom in. I will zoom in. I will zoom into the finest little part. All right, right there. Pace. Zoom back out. Boom. Now you're gonna have to go under uh truncate. All right. So grab your little end point. Take little end point off the end back there. Zoom in on that joint. You know stuff you already know. You know what I'm saying. Go to on uh, truncate. Boom. Go back to the beginning. Take a little end piece off. Truncate it. Boom. Boom. Now that should play perfect. So when we hit record, I mean, I restart here. You know what I'm saying? And then if you want to, you know, if you don't want to have that annoying sound in the background, use your ADSR mode. All right, so now the thing you gotta do is just go back here, hit your sampler, go to audio, boom, your loops back in there. You know, then if you got some clicks and pops or whatever, you know, whatever the case may be, you know what I'm saying? You just, you just go back to the old way. I don't know why I keep saying old way, but you know, the way we know how to do it, you know, add a little fade on the end, fade that little thing out right there. See that little fade right there? I know it's probably hard to see, but I'll give you a perfect example. Okay. I'll go here and I'll do something really ridiculous. like. I'll put a big fade on the end of this joint. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like this whole end right here, I'll fade the heck out of it, which of course makes no sense, but I'm just, you know, just showing you something. I'm going to go to audio. Look at that big fade right there. See what I'm saying? Now, if I control Z that, a little bit more. Yeah, man. So that's pretty much it. Again, I hope that helps. If you have any questions, just hit me up. Peace.